Hi everyone, welcome to the Droidji channel. Today's video will explain to you what happens when your Android phone is stuck on emergency calls only. When you pick up your phone to contact your friends for a party, you find that you can't make a call correctly, and you are confused because you didn't do anything with your phone. When this happens to you, don't panic, your phone may have entered emergency calls only mode. You can see if there is a message in the status bar of your phone that says emergency calls only. If it is emergency calls only, how to fix emergency calls only on Android phone. Don't worry, this video will tell you the solution to fix Android phone says emergency calls only. This video is applicable to mobile phone models including Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePulse, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, HTC. Please watch patiently and try the solutions in this video. Why is my Android phone stuck in emergency calls mode? If your phone says emergency calls only, it means that it cannot connect to your carrier. This may be due to a problem with your SIM card or just a weak signal. In addition, the display of emergency calls only may also appear when the SIM card is not inserted and the mobile phone is out of network coverage. Android phone gets stuck on emergency calls only may also appear when the airplane mode is turned on. This problem may also occur when the device is faulty or the network settings are incorrect. Now it's time to know how to fix the problem of Android phone stuck on emergency calls only. As long as you try the methods in the video patiently, we believe that there is always a method that can help you. When the methods do not work, you can try a few more times to fix Android phone is stuck on emergency calls only. If you think this video is good, you can subscribe, like or leave a message to tell us which method helped you solve the problem. Method 1 is to check whether the SIM card is inserted correctly. If the SIM card is not inserted or inserted incorrectly, Android phone displays emergency calls only. At this point, you can recall whether the SIM card is inserted and whether it is inserted correctly. You can use a card pin to remove the SIM card tray, and then check whether the SIM card is inserted in the tray and whether the SIM card is inserted correctly. After eliminating these problems, reinstall the SIM card and install the tray correctly in the phone, and finally check again whether the problem of Android phone is displaying emergency calls only still exists. Method 2 is to check whether the airplane mode is enabled. Airplane mode disables all wireless connections on the phone. So if the airplane mode is enabled, you will not be able to make calls and this will show the emergency calls only message, making you mistakenly think that your Android phone keeps saying emergency calls only. To solve this problem, swipe down from the top of the screen once or twice and find the airplane mode icon. After that check if the airplane mode is on, if it is, turn off the airplane mode and check again if the emergency calls only disappear. Method 3 is to check if the SIM card is on. There is a SIM card manager on the Android phone, which can help you start or disable the activated SIM card. Please check if you have turned off the SIM card by mistake, causing the Android phone shows emergency calls only. To check if the SIM card is on, open the phone settings and select connections, here find and tap on the SIM card manager. On the new screen, see if the SIM card switch is off, if it is, turn the switch back on to activate the SIM card. Method 4 is to change the network type. Most Android phones support selecting the network mode to solve service problems, and sometimes it can also solve the problem of Android phone keeps reverting to emergency calls only. If the signal is weak in your location, try switching to another network mode to get a better signal. To switch to another network mode, open the phone settings, then select connections, select mobile network in the connections interface, then tap network mode in the new interface and select an alternative network type. Finally, check again if exit emergency call screen stuck on Android phone. Method 5 is to force restart. Force restart can help you fix problems caused by SIM card or temporary failure. Force restart will stop all programs running in the background, will not cause any impact on the phone, and will not lose any data. Now please follow my steps to try. To force restart an Android phone, long press the combination of the phone's force restart keys. The combination of the Samsung phone force restart keys in the video is the power button and the volume down button. Please press and hold the combination of your phone's force restart keys for 10 to 15 seconds. When the phone brand logo appears on the screen, you can let go, and then your phone will automatically restart. After the restart is complete, check again if it is fix an Android phone that says emergency calls only. Method 6 is to reset network settings. Resetting network settings can turn off emergency calls only on Android phone, because resetting network settings will reset all network-related functions, connections, and data to default settings. This means that your Android phone's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and mobile network type will be reset and connected. To reset network settings on an Android phone, please follow the steps below. 1. Tap settings on the home screen. 2. Swipe up to find and tap general management. 3. Find and tap reset. 4. Find reset network settings in the interface. 5. Tap restore defaults. After that, the mobile network on the Android device will be reset, thereby getting Android phone out of emergency calls mode. Method 7 is to contact the operator or go to a repair center. 
If Android phone stuck on emergency calls only still exists, it may be a problem with the operator or a hardware related problem. You can first check whether you have paid the bill. If so, contact the operator to see if you can help you get Android phone off emergency calls only. If it is a hardware related problem, take the phone to the after sales service center for a technician to help you fix the problem. Today's video ends here. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like and share it and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the comment area. At the same time, if you think we need to improve, you can also express your opinions and suggestions in the comment area. Thank you and good luck.